Hi friends, Miss Deacon here. Happy Friday. I'm so excited to have you here learning with me again. So friends, all week we've been learning about ways to make our writing special and high quality because we're in second grade and we need to make sure we're writing like second graders. We need to be scholars. We need to be writing in a way that hooks people, that makes our writing interesting and fun. So today we're going to learn about spicy sentences. We've learned many, many elements of spicy sentences over the last four days. So we are throwing away those old, boring, simple three and four word sentences, and we're moving on to bigger and better things together, okay? So let's get started. What do you need today? You need your big smart brain, you need your computer or your tablet, you're gonna need a paper and a piece of paper and a pencil, and you're gonna wanna probably look back at the videos that we've done the past four days. So you know those are on Google Classroom, excuse me, and they'll stay on Google Classroom so you can reference them again and again as you need to remember how to make your sentences really special and high quality, okay? Here's our target for the day. I can write four sentences that have all of the necessary parts and that have juicy words. Okay, the necessary parts. Necessary, of course, means things that we need, things we cannot go on without. Here are the necessary parts. Your sentences need to have a subject. That's the who or the what in the sentence. Your sentences need to have a predicate and a verb. So the predicate is the what is happening and the verb is the action, okay? So you need to have a subject, a who and a what, and a predicate and a verb, which is what is happening in every single sentence or else it's a fragment. Remember when we learned about fragments the other day? We don't want any fragments. We, we save those for preschool, throw them away, we get rid of them in second grade, okay? You're gonna need synonyms for common words. So you're gonna to wanna to be thinking, what is a juicier or a spicier word for what I'm trying to say here? There's almost always a better word, a more exciting word, because you want whoever's reading your writing to be really excited about it, right? Okay, and lastly, you of course, of course, of course, need capitalization and punctuation. If you, need, if you ever have a question, friends, about what should be capitalized or where you put punctuation, please go back to what we did on Monday, okay? Go back to Google Classroom open up that video and check it out and make sure you're putting capital letters in the beginning of your sentences and when you're talking about names of people or places. I showed you in the video on Monday how to capitalize sentences on your computer or your tablet and I'm going to show you a little bit again today. So you're going to make sure that you use the videos that we've already done together to write some sentences today, okay? So I'm going to skip your job for now. I'm going to switch my sharing over to the iPad so you can see what we're doing here. Excuse me for one second. All right, here we are. Oh my goodness. Technical difficulties. Okay, here we are. So I wrote a couple of sentences and I want to look at them with you. I want you to tell me which one is a spicy sentence and which one is a boring, boring, boring sentence, okay? So here are the two sentences that I wrote. The first one says, I went to the store, okay? That has a subject, it has a predicate. I am the subject and went to the store is the predicate. Here's the second one. I rode the bus to the shoe shop. Again, I am the subject, rode the bus to the shoe shop, is the predicate. Both are complete sentences, both have a capital letter in the beginning, both have a period at the end. But which one is juicier? Go ahead and write down on your piece of paper, you tell me, is number one juicier or is number two juicier or spicier? You tell me, write on your paper number one or number two. Pause me here until you're ready. Okay, so number one, I went to the store. That's a fine sentence, but that's more of like, an okay one. We're going to get rid of it. The juicier, the spicier, the better sentence, friends, is I rode the bus to the shoe shop. So we're going to make it red. I told you details. I changed the word store. I used a synonym, which is shop, right? I added what kind of shop. It was a shoe shop. I went to the store. Yes, but how did I get there? I rode the bus. So the spicier sentence is number two. I rode the bus to the shoe shop. Let's look at another one. We're gonna look right here. Here's the first sentence, we'll call it number one. Number one says, my sister is funny. 
She is, that's true. Here's another one. My sister told a hilarious joke. Which one is spicier? Write on your paper. One or two, pause me here. Okay, if you picked number two, my sister told a hilarious joke, then you are correct. That is the spicier sentence. This, oh no, whoops. These are the type of sentences we want you to be writing here in second grade. We're gonna get rid of these simple sentences, three, four word sentences. Remember, throw them away. And we're gonna be writing sentences that have more details. I took the word funny and I thought of a synonym for funny. And another word for funny that means almost the same thing is hilarious. If I say, well, that show was funny, you think it's kind of funny, but if I say that show is hilarious, you're gonna be like, wow, I need to watch that show because it sounds really great, really, really funny. So make sure you're writing sentences like this, number two, okay? One more. We've got number one and we've got number two. Let's start by reading number one. Frank is outside playing. Again, that sentence is fine. That sentence has a subject and it has a predicate and it tells you who it's about and what they're doing, but kind of boring. Number two says, Frank is on the deck playing catch with an orange ball. Which one of those is better? Which one is juicier and spicier and more interesting to read? Frank is on the deck playing catch with an orange ball. That tells me a lot more information. Uh oh, I did it again. That tells me a lot more information than Frank is outside playing. I told you what he was playing and I told you what he was playing with, right? So make sure you're using juicy words and you're using synonyms. You're using your knowledge of subjects and predicates to make sentences that are really interesting, okay? When you do your task today, when you work on your writing task, friends, you're gonna see an example and a non-example from me. So the example is gonna be some good, high-quality, juicy sentences. And the non-example are going to be some things that are a little bit babyish, a little too simple for second grade friends because we are moving on, we are moving up, and we are writing high quality writing. So you're going to write me four sentences on your Google Doc that's in your classroom, okay? You're going to write me four high quality, spicy sentences. You can write me a story. You can write me what you've been doing over the last couple of days. You can tell me whatever you want, okay? but it needs to be juicy sentences. I'm gonna start off by writing a juicy sentence. Remember, I need to press shift, so look down at my keyboard. To get a capital letter, I'm gonna hold shift, and then I'm going to press my letter. So I went to the grocery store with my mom on Tuesday. That's pretty good. I told you where I went. I told you who I was with and I told you what day. I'm going to tell you some more information. Remember, I'm holding my shift key. We bought some crispy potato chips and some juicy apples. Notice how I used words like crispy, juicy, to describe what I was buying. I need to make sure my sentences are not boring. Frank, stop crying, please. Sorry, friends, Frank really wants to play. Okay, I need two more sentences at least. Now, I would write more, and I know a lot of you will write more, and that's totally fine, okay? We saw a mom with her adorable baby. Well, we were there. I was gonna say we saw a mom with her cute baby, but I thought, hmm, what's a synonym for cute that's juicier? Adorable. We saw a mom with her adorable baby while we were there. Then we drove home in the car in our red car and unpacked our food in the kitchen. Okay, I wrote you a story about when I went to the grocery store. Friends, going to the grocery store is pretty boring, right? But I added juicy words and I used subjects and predicates. I want you to do the same thing to write me four sentences on your Google Doc, okay? Next week, we're going to write how-to books, okay? We're gonna work together to write some really special books. So. 
in order to get ready for that, we're gonna practice writing really great sentences. So friends, I know that you can do this. I'm so excited to read what you write to me in your Google Docs and I will see you on, well, I'll see you in a week. Happy spring break. I love you so much. Be safe and have a great time, okay friends? I'll talk to you soon. Bye.